Hey guys, if you would like to support the channel, I appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe. Plus, hit that notification bell to see all further uploads from Cisco Soldier, aka Uncle Trey. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up, YouTube? How are you guys doing today? For those of y'all that don't know who I am, my name is Cisco Soldier, aka Uncle Trey. Welcome to the channel. Today, right, we're going to talk about PK0 004, which is the CompTIA Project Plus exam. Um, I just took it. I just took the exam probably, I took it last week, um, passed it. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was a lot different, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot more different than uh, the normal CompTIA test that I've taken. Uh, I've taken this, this is actually my fourth one. Um, so I'm just going to talk to you guys today a little bit about the exam and what to expect if, if you have that coming up. Um, so basically, and then talk to you about a couple, you know, study material things you can find. Um, one of the best, the best course that I saw out there was this course on Pluralsight. Um, you know, with the it was the what's her Casey Ayers, all right, Casey Ayers course. So if you can find your way to get into this, I highly suggest this. Uh, you take this course. This is very very helpful uh, in helping understand give that solid foundation um, so that I recommend that one um, now I, I acquired these uh, course notes right so for those of y'all who are interested and don't want to spend time you know writing things down by yourself uh, just leave your email address down in the comment section below and I'll email you all this material that I have um, these were very helpful all right, especially like when I go to the first page, man, when it talks about, all right, the project management triangle, you definitely going to need to know this, right? Like, look at the exam detail. Let me, I'm going to skip around right quick, but like if I look at these exam details, right, the first domain of this exam is 36%. Like this is 40% of the exam if you round it up, right? So this is like 40% of the exam. I'm telling you guys, a lot of this stuff you're going to need to know, like, the project management triangle, you know, time, cost, scope. If there's a change within the process, which one is going to be affected? Uh, you're going to see that a lot. All right, you definitely need to be familiar with the uh, five phases of project management and what happens during each single phase. You're going to definitely need to know that. All right, now these are the different roles, right? Like here, you know, they talk about the different roles and who's responsible for what. You need to know, I'm going to hit the table on that one. You definitely need to know the role of the project sponsor. If you don't know nothing else, man, you need to know the role of the project sponsor. What is his role, okay? His or her, okay? You know, his or her role. Um, so it's a lot of stuff, man, like, you know, you go through the notes. It's already clearly written for you. Pretty good handwriting. So hit me up. Leave your email address. I'll send that to you. All right. Now, the fearless formula. You're definitely going to need to know this. Okay. All right. You need to know, you know, the earned value, the plan value, actual costs, um, you know, then the formula itself, right? Because how they break it down when you go with the cost variance, schedule variance, cost performance index, schedule performance index. All right. So you have this mnemonic device, and this can help you, you know, if this means anything to you, CEA, SEP. This didn't do anything for me, I will tell you, but what I did, what made sense in my mind, when I looked at it, I said, hey, it's only, you know, two of these have two letters, and two of them have three letters. So, okay, so I can put those in order, and then when you do the formula, CV equals everything is earned value every single one of these is earned value and then you know two of them are minus and ac is at the top pv is at the bottom that's a minus and then two of them are divide ac and pv so ac and pv on both and then that's how i kind of got it to soak into my mind until i was comfortable with the formula right so however you get it done you know but you're gonna huh, i would you know like if you look at a, a lot of different groups out there when you go looking and say, hey, what's on the exam? A lot of people tell you, you don't need to know the formula. Um, for the exam that I took, I had at least 10 to 12 questions dealing with the formula, right? So you need to definitely be able to read the entire question and then break it down and do the formula. Um, and then, you know, that will help you out tremendously. Okay. 
Um, and then yeah, so going over the like say going over the exam objectives, you so you know, hey guys, this is it's only four domains, but they are heavily weighted, and domain number one being, you know, the most value. So um, I would pay close attention to everything that's in domain one.